Hey guys, we thought we'd give you something different, something fun, new and fresh. And I absolutely love small businesses here in the UK that not just do food, but you know, fishing, farming, you name it, it's exciting. This is School of Wok on tour. Hey guys, we're here back at the Wasabi Company for another episode of School of Wok on tour. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm hoping you guys are too. I'm gonna go meet John and he's gonna talk me through something I never thought you could cook before and that is wasabi stems. I'm gonna flash fry them and I'll show you how later. This is, so this is over a year? Yeah, yeah, over a year. This one, uh, about 14 months. So he's still got about four months to go. Okay, but, do you have that feeling of like, you know, that gladiator feeling when he's walking through the, <laughs> yeah. you're kind of like, yeah, yeah. you're kind of like, oh, you know, <laughs> this is my dream. This is amazing. Yeah. yeah, they are growing. These are growing nicely. That is amazing. They're so, and so they've got, they've got a few months to go. Yeah. Can we, can we pull one out? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can have a sneaky pull. Right, so which one's good to harvest? This one. Anyone, any one of these is, is they're all going to be similar. But look here, we can oh, see yeah, the can stems see sticking now. up above the ground. Because it doesn't grow below the ground. Can it's you not sense a root. my excitement? <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. I, ca I cannot believe we are in England looking at homegrown wasabi. Have and we... these stems yeah. are yeah. incredible. Yeah, well, they're, and they're all edible. So the whole wasabi plant is edible. So what, how, how would you eat that? So that, chop it up finely and, and eat it on its own, but, but pickling or, or instant dressing with a bit of mirin, a bit of soy sauce, a little bit of rice vinegar. Works really well like nice. that. Nice, I might stir fry it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm guessing it's not as, as, as sort of spicy. Not as it? spicy. Yeah. And the stem has a different flavour to the leaf. Yeah. So the leaf has a more spinachy, irony, watercress uh, kind of flavour. You get wasabi flavour once you've chewed it. Okay. You break down the cells, you get the wasabi flavour. The stem has more of a sort of pickled onion, radish kind of, kind of flavour to it. Oh, wow, that is unique in itself. Um, so are we going to pick this one? You can pull that one. All right, so what do so we do? All you've got to do is, this yeah. one isn't too big, it's not going to be okay. too difficult. Yeah. Just grab the whole, uh, grab everything yeah. and, and give it a pull. All right, grab everything. Well, that was easy. Yeah, yeah. It's quite, quite loose in the gravel. Oh my word, that is amazing. Just get rid of the dead leaves. All right, that one's going to go? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So there, that's what I was talking about earlier, where you can propagate your own wasabi. So that one's a bit big, but... Right, I'm going to start my own farm. <laughs> but you can, you absolutely could with that. Look, really? it's got some nice white hairs at the top there. Okay. Good taproot there. So that you could replant and, and grow again from there. Right, let's try a bit of stem. So you'd eat this raw? Oh yeah, yeah, but... And, and pickled, you know, instantly pickled, like j just with the dressing. Mirin, soy Leaf sauce, and all. rice vinegar, yeah. And the flavour will change as you chew. Oh yeah, I'm getting the heat. Yeah, yeah, you get the I'm heat. I'm getting the heat now. Yeah, yeah. Need it, to chew it. Got to break down those cells. It is quite watercress-like. Yeah. To be honest, you know, that is perfect for stir frying. Yeah. It is. It's good texture. It's yeah. Not, it's not over uh, over thick. But also the size of it is good for wrapping things. Right. Yeah. So you could do like um, you know, the Vietnamese uh, betel leaf um, okay. beef. Yeah. So they have like um, lemongrass, um, pa uh, palm sugar, fish sauce. Uh, minced up, freshly minced up beef, okay. wrapped usually in betel leaf, but wrapped in that. Fantastic, wasabi and, and beef is a great combination. And then seared on the barbecue, that would be amazing. I, like, I feel like I'm holding a natural piece of like gold bouillon. Yeah, green gold, <laughs> green gold, green gold. And that, that's the bit that's worth the money for us, right, okay. that bit there. And we'll see how we, how we, we clean it up and then, and then we grate it to get our fresh wasabi paste. But there's more to it than that. These, these stems as well, these are also sold. We're selling these into several chefs at the moment. Oh, so the, the restaurants cook the stem? They cook the stem. So they would treat, often treat the stem and the leaf separately. So the leaf is very good, as you say, for wraps. It's okay. good to slice up and yep. put into stir fries. And it fries. was delicious. The leaf is delicious. Thank you. But the step, so you're saying the stems, they pickle? The stem, yeah, you, or with the kind of pickle type of dressing, so. Okay, so kind of like a, a quick pickle. Exactly. Okay. You can also do them as a, as, a, as a more traditional pickle. There are so many different types of Chinese vegetable. Um, and we always, we call them all just like greens. Right, yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. So you've got like classics, like pak choy, but even pak choy, there's different types. Right. And they, most of the greens that we eat or we stir fry, because Chinese don't tend to like have salads so much. Okay. You know, raw vegetables are not really a thing. Um, um, but when we flash fry greens, it's either pak choy, well, actually, pak choy, uh, like 
in Chinese, it means white vegetable. Okay. But if you notice that the, the pak choy in Western supermarkets, it's green. Yeah. So that's just because, from what I know, it's, it's a bit more robust. So it stays good for longer in the shops, right. on the shelves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the traditional uh, pak choy is white right. stemmed. Right. And the white stemmed pak choy tastes like that. Is that right? Yeah. And yeah. you also get like gai choy, which is a mustard green. Right. And I love that as salad, but yeah. most Chinese people will look at me weird if I'm eating, eating that as, uh, like eating it raw. Right. So it's usually flash fried or blanched for a minute. Okay. And then you get the crunch, but still the flavor. Right, right. Yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens with these. I'm gonna cook them up. Excellent. Of course, you've got running water all over this place. <laughs> Straight out of the ground, no electricity. So we're gonna wash our gold bouillon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's very simple. I mean, it takes a little bit of time. Green water's a great way to wash it because, of course, the water's nice and clean. And you can see this sort of the, that sort of classic bright green, like yeah. peeking out, can't you? Yeah. You see all these nodules here. These are where the leaf stem has fallen away. Yeah. So then they leave a little bit of the stem behind yep. of, of this leaf stem to form this big stem here. So we call it a rhizome, people call it a root, but it's actually the stem of the plant. And then these roots will be trimmed off. And then to get it ready for grating, we will remove all of these stems here. All right, that's my stir fry. And that is more or less what we have to go out to market. Oh, wow, that is cool. And do you ever do this sort of and just sit here with some sort of Zen Japanese music on whilst you're sort of dreaming about being halfway across the world. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> but you've got the you've got the sound of the water. Yeah, you, you should, know, you should. And the bird song, you know, it is very, very calming. It yeah. is a beautiful way to do it. That is a beautiful bit of vegetable and I can't wait to cook with it. I love things like this because you just don't sort of I never realised that the stems of a wasabi plant were even edible or a thing and they're kind of like I don't know my no waste sort of culture of uh, you know using the, uh, the the leaves of a cauliflower which you could cook in exactly the same way this or the tops of carrots which also could be can be flash fried or curried um, and these stems really do kind of taste like a slightly spicier tinglier version of um, uh, the traditional pak choy, the white pak choy, um, or uh, choy sum, what we all, as I said, with John, um, sort of just call Chinese greens. They're all like that mustardy green family. One of the best ways of eating these flash fried greens or cooking them, I find, is um, is how I saw it done in a in the markets in Thailand with a flash fried morning glory. And there was this old sort of uncle, let's call him uncle. For some reason in Asia, when uncles or aunties are cooking on high heat on a wok in markets, they kind of look like they're dancing a little bit. And he was constantly like dancing around um, whilst he's sort of preparing everything. And um, everything that went into this veg dish, went in pretty much just lightly bashed and whole. So I'm just going to pop these garlic cloves, quite a few of them, on top of my beautiful and fresh wasabi stems. Yes, how cool is that? And you kind of want them sitting in leaves and all, but the garlic you want to hit the wok and the oil as quickly as possible. And I want to get the wok, as you'll see in a second, as high a heat as possible on the coals and we're going to smoke the whole place up it's okay we're outdoors school walk on tour my ginger and chilies fair bit of ginger and chilies uh, is good bash it on top with the garlic whole wholesome fresh food the chilies, again, just going to pierce them because I want flavour from the chilies. But as I found from this sort of fresh wasabi, it's 
It's almost got this natural sweetness to the whole plant, not just the root, but the stems themselves, with a touch of spice that then develops over time. And that is great. Whereas if I was to finally chop these chilies, you get this hit of just chili flavor. That's not what I want. I want a hint of chili flavor with the sweetness that kind of interacts with the leaves in a really well, nice way. This is such a simple dish to make, but there is method to our madness. We're gonna go for a little bit of oyster sauce or mushroom stir fry sauce, whichever you can get your hands on. And I kind of like putting it over the garlic and the chilies because I want it to caramelize when it hits the wok. And then I'm gonna put a little dash of soy, light soy, not too much, because as I said, I saw this in Thailand. And of course, in Thai cooking, fish sauce is essential. So I've got some fish sauce in the little pot here. That will be quite salty. To interact with the natural sweetness of the chilies and the wasabi plant, I'm gonna put a bit of sugar into that as well. And that'll caramelize as well. And pretty much, other than flash frying this, my recipe is ready. Now this is what, the real reason why we decided to do School of Wok on tour. Because it's kind of like, wek, wok, wek Wednesday, wok Wednesday on tour, outdoors, where you can't, let's say, don't try this at home unless you've got a big space. And definitely don't try this at home if you've got a garden like mine with AstroTurf. I'm gonna take a little bit of this oil because I want a really good high heat and flame. Wah! Now we're talking. That's School of Wok flame that is. And this is like real, like, you know, Chinese wok cooking. You know, in the restaurants, you've got the lever that kind of lets your knee, like your knee pushes it up and down to get that real high heat. And you want this wok to be smoking, smoking hot before I go in. High flame, let's just let some of that black smoke move. The white smoke's forming inside the wok and that is high heat. That sizzle is super important. I'm gonna let that chili and the garlic kind of do its thing for about 30 seconds before I give it a quick flick. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, one, flick that around. There, look at that. Now I'm gonna let it build up heat again. If you want a bit more flame, hey, you're outside, go for it. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here, not a lot at all, and I'm gonna get that to a really good sizzling bubble and fold that through. And these are, remember, flash fried wasabi stems and leaves, but you can use, as I say, any sort of stem. Once that sauce is kind of like bubbling up and vigorously boiling, you're ready to serve. It literally is as quick as that. In true camping style, serve your dinner on the floor. It's those stems that John was talking about that they use in pickles and raw and things like that. But for me, this flash fried. Oh my God. That is better than Morning Glory or any of the veg I've tried out in Thailand. It is so crunchy and you get this lingering spice that just works with the oyster sauce and the chilies and... <sighs> Guys, if you like this, if you like our School of Walk on Tour, our Walk Wednesdays, this is something different. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ding, hit that notification bell and eat new things.